Hi, I'm Grant Prattley from Over the Edge Rescue, and we have lots of great videos on this channel about rigging and rescue, how to do things more efficiently, as well as lots of testing and techniques. So welcome along, we're gonna look at this sling here and figure out why it's double the strength to a single strand. Let's have a think about this piece of webbing here as a sling and the manufacturer rates it to 22 kilonewtons as written on the label here. Yet if you actually dig into the, to the specs of the actual sling itself, it's 12.5 kilonewtons just for a single strand. So there's something going on here. So that's the kind of thing we're going to look at and figure out what is actually going on with this sling and why is it double the strength to a single strand. So before we get started, it's worth thinking about the parameters that we're going to use just to make it a lot easier to talk so we don't go down some kind of rabbit hole when we're, when we're talking about uh, the tension or what's happening at the bends or things like that. So let's just call this these particular connections here, we'll just call them frictionless, it'll make it easier. This is a continuous sling. So going round and round, continuous. And just to make it easier, we'll just call it with, it's got no stretch, all right? So those are the three things we're dealing with. Continuous, sling, frictionless, and no stretch. Now, one of the key things to think about is tension on the strands. That's the key way we're gonna have, or get some understanding about what's happening in the sling. So, if we think about it, the load down here is gonna be 100 or 100% 100 if you like. And then on this strand here, we've got 50. And on this strand here, we've got 50 as well. But the key thing to think about is it's because it's a continuous sling, there's 50 all the way around here. So it doesn't actually, doesn't actually change. So I've got 50 on this side and 50 on that side, which most people can understand. I imagine you're nodding and saying, yep, I understand what you're meaning there. But round the top, let's sort of cover off that particular little anomaly where people think, well, there's 50 here and 50 here, surely right there at the top, there must be 100. But what I'm saying is there's always two strands, no matter, because it's a continuous sling, there's 50 on this side and 50 on this side, so therefore, to be able to get double the strength, surely it must be two strands everywhere in the sling. So right at the very top, there is a second strand. It just happens to be at the bottom here, all right? So there is a second strand. And to demonstrate that concept, if you agree that there's 50 here and 50 here, let me just move that 50 and 50. I'll just move this sling so now the 50 and 50 that were in the middle are now top and bottom. There's still got 50 and 50 on it. Assuming our parameters at the beginning, just to make it simple to understand, remember frictionless, no stretch, continuous loop, all right? So just assuming those parameters, I've now got 50 there and there, and let me just magically move those two points back to where they were, and they still got 50 and 50. All right, so, we're thinking about the tension on the strand here and that it's 50% or 50 all the way around. But what happens at the anchor here, this anchor carabiner? Well, you know you've got 50 on this side and you've got 50 on this side and where it touches that carabiner, right? So 50 on this side, 50 on this side, you add those two together if you like, and if you have a look at the blog post I've put on my website, I explain this in more detail, but basically I've got a 50 vector on this side, a 50 vector, I add them together, on the carabiner, I now have 100 or 100%, which makes sense because I've got to transfer it from my load here up to my anchor, so this carabiner is 100, this carabiner is also 100, but anywhere on the sling is actually 50. Right, so that's a sort of a key concept in saying, how do I get my load, you know, this 100 or my 50 50 
back onto that carabiner, well, you gotta think about it like vectors. A 50 on this side, 50 on that side, touching either side of the carabiner. The carabiner has 100, but the sling still has 50 all the way around. So hopefully that explains that last little part of how do we actually get the load back onto the carabiner. You're still sitting there scratching your head and thinking, still don't quite understand this. So what I've also done in this video is I've put some load cells in here to show you the actual tension so you can start seeing and understanding what the tension is here. And I've also done some testing on single strands and also slings um, of various materials, both nylon and Dyneema. So check out the next bit of the video, and if you're really enjoying this video so far, make sure you hit the like button. See you on the next section. So what we're doing in this part is we're using three load cells to show you the tension or the force on each part of the setup. So the setup itself, is we've got a load cell down the bottom here. So this is an Amata load cell sampling at 2000 Hertz. So this is showing the load, what's the tension on the load. And then we've got two Rock Exotica load cells, one on the left, one on the right here, and they're uh, sampling at two Hertz. And they're showing the tension on the actual sling itself. And if we look at the sling, it's set up with a piece of five mil Dyneema connected directly into the bottom of the load cells and going around a pulley at the bottom here and a pulley at the top here. So using Dyneema to reduce stretch in the pulley so we have as little friction as possible just to demonstrate the, the tension in the system. So if we look on the left hand side 0.5 to 0.52 on the left and 0 0.5 to 0 0.52 on the right. So as you can see is half the tension on this sling here right the way around compared to what's down here on the load. In this part of the video what we're going to be doing is going over testing that we've done for single strand as well as sling or loop. So let's get into it. The first thing we're going to look at is a piece of 16mm tied webbing. I hope you found it interesting all this testing and it shows that a double strand or a sling is twice the strength of a single strand. This makes sense if you think about it. This backs up the theory we were talking about earlier in the video and provides you with some really good evidence behind the theory to say yes this actually works 